this one. Okay. What do you think? Yep, you give that one a try. So what ideas do you think you have for that? Or what do you, when you look at that, what would you like to bring out? Um, well, I'm seeing some colors here actually in the off-white. So you're seeing off-white, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so off-white is kind of the first thing that pops in your head. Mm -hmm. So why don't we use off-white as kind of one of our, we're going to go with that. And then what else would you like to bring out? Yeah, I think I think the the, uh, the greens, the blues, and maybe we can even do something with the bright, really bright cherry reds in there. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Do you need your watercolor paints, or do you think we're good with kind of just looking at well, some dye? Yeah, I think if you if you are comfortable with pulling the dye from the shelf, then that's good. Okay, so let's go for that. And I'll kind of tell you what I'm thinking, and then you can tell me if you kind of agree with that. Okay. Okay, so for this color, we are going to kind of do sort of a solid base on the bottom. to act as a background and then we're going to pull a lot of colors that we see in the reference photo and kind of just sprinkle them all over. So that's the idea for this and we'll see if it works. We're going to keep the background fairly light and then add all our bright color on top of it. So if you want to start with that and how far down do you want And you know to what just go. just start here and pour it down as far as it'll go. You can use the spoon to move stuff down because we want to try and keep this, you know, try and do a coverage over everything. So you can do the same with that other color you've got there. And just start at this end and move it up. That's almost the color I was uh, talking about when I was that's good. Yeah, you can just let it bleed right up and go and overlap it, no big deal. So now we're going to just pull, there's all kinds of colors that we can pull from our picture and we're just going to keep it easy and just um, sprinkle the colors on top. I think I went too crazy with We'll see. We'll see. You might like how it looks. Okay, let's leave that. Okay. What do you think? So what's next? Um, what do we have? Are we gonna do? Are we gonna do anything with the um, with the 
bright red here or tell me blue what do you think what would you like to see when you look at this what's happening here what do you think well, might kind of <laughs> be nice like bright red kind of scares me i don't know So what are you thinking so far? Yeah, I, maybe we should do some pops of the bright red in there. I think you're right. See, you usually, you can't, until you start layering the color, you don't really know what's needed. And I'm like, yeah, it could use something bright in there. Okay, so what do you think we should try and pull out? I think the really these, these pops here. Okay, so I'll see if I can find something. So you know what, my instinct is to first, let's layer some turquoise first, and then we're going to put the reds on top. Okay. Now this is super, super, super intense, this turquoise. And you got to be super light with it, otherwise it'll just take over. So maybe I will do okay. this, just because it is so, it is so potent. I'm just going to put it in just a few areas. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. What do you think so mm -hmm. far? All right, so now we definitely, I think, it would look really good to have some um, some red in there. I don't really know. I think it's going to be more of a cherry red. Okay, well, let me... So before you sprinkle it, is that kind of what you would like? Or do you think it should be more... I have a red that is kind of more of a... Like a peppery red. Yeah, I, I wanted yeah? like a bright red. I already don't remember what we used. You're going to have to help me remember so I can write this stuff down. Now, if you move it around as you tap, then it will, it'll, you know what I mean? It won't be just concentrated in one area. Maybe add a bit right in here and at the side here. So what do you think? Maybe add a bit here. Yeah. Okay. So I would now add that bright orange that we're seeing in here too. I think that'll add a little bit more life to this too. So now I'm trying to look at like areas where they like it's a little missing a little bit. Is that what? Yeah, you go for it. Where you think it looks good. Anyways, what do you think of this color? Yeah. So to me, I'm not thinking about adding anything else, but what do you think? I think you're right. I think that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we can let this set, let everything exhaust, all the color, and then uh, we can come back and flip it and see if we need to add any of these colors on the other side. I'm just going to arrange these a little bit differently. I think it'll be easier to get better coverage of the sprinkles if I lay them down this way.
We were so pleased with how this color turned out. You'll see in a little bit the final results. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, but in this collection or the past few videos, this is number three, I showed you three colors that we dyed, but we did a total of 20 colors. So that's pretty huge. That was a lot of a lot of experimenting, collaborating together, getting our ideas together. It was so much fun to work with my husband on this and to get his input, his feedback, his ideas. It was really refreshing to have another perspective on color. I know what I like, I know what I'm used to, but it was a really, it was a real creative challenge or I learned a lot just by getting someone else's input. I really think that it helped me to grow as an artist and to try different things just to have somebody else's input or ideas about color. So that was really fun and I really enjoyed it and I hope to do a lot more collaborations with my husband in the future. Now I'm going to leave it at this as far as showing our process just with the three videos but I do have a lot of footage where I dyed the other colors that I mentioned so I'd like to share those with you in further in future videos. The collaboration actually went quite well. It was well received. The colors that I put up in the shop, I did them as pre-orders and I made them available on a few different bases so that people could choose the fiber and weight of yarn that they wanted these colors dyed on. So that went really well and I packed a lot of orders. So in the next couple of videos, we're still going to be focused on this vintage vehicle collection. I'm going to show you more dyeing of the colors. I'm not going to go in depth though. I'm just going to show you the whole kind of the process of not only dyeing the colors, but putting it up on the shop, taking photos, all that kind of behind the scenes that takes place in putting new products in a shop. The packing, the shipping of the orders, all of that good stuff. So the ne next couple videos, that's my little plug or preview for those, is going to be focused on that. In the, in the meantime, I wanted to just say thank you for the support of my channel. I love reading the comments. I love reading the comments too about how you enjoyed watching Mike watching his confidence grow as he played with color. This is his first time dyeing anything. He has no experience with dyeing yarn, but he helps me out a lot behind the scenes. He gets all the yarn prepared for me. He ties it so that it doesn't tangle. He washes a lot of yarn. He washes a lot of pans. He is so instrumental to my business in helping me out and I really appreciate that but I just wanted him to have a chance to have some fun with more of the creative side of the business so I hope to do a lot more with him in the future if you would like to be notified of when I put up new videos then please subscribe to my channel feel free to like and share my videos. It really gives me a boost of confidence and it helps my channel to grow. So again, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate your support. Again, I'd like to mention, I love reading your comments. So please keep those coming. And until next time, bye.